This is my tomato basil bagel. So in the bowl, to top four bagels for you guys, three bagels for us, because I overload our bagels, you're gonna need one and a half bricks of cream cheese. I like Philly, but buy as you will. And I've got a small tray here, just one thin layer of very thinly sliced prosciutto. We're gonna crisp this in the oven to top this bagel. Okay. In the oven she goes. And then into the bowl, we're gonna go with this. You know what stinks about this is I usually make John do my stirrings. So the basil, do you see what I did? I stacked a few leaves and I rolled them together into a little log. And then you just sprinkle it in. You add your chiffonade. And then about a third of a palm full, about a teaspoon or so of the smoked sweet paprika. And then for the heat, as little or as much as you like, it was about a, a half to three quarter of a teaspoon of the ground red pepper or red pepper flake. We all have in our pantry. Here's the flake, of course. Ruby's got this. So then we're going to stir in about three quarters of a cup of our chopped semi-dried or sun-dried tomatoes. So you can just plump up sun-dried tomatoes in a little boiling water Get them nice and tender and chop those. Or you can drain off if you have them in your pantry. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil, just drain them off so you can handle them and chop them safely. Now we'll mix all this together. Don't let me forget the prosciutto's in the oven, John. I'm over mounding. That's why I said I can only get three bagels out of my batches of cream cheese. Oh yeah, nick a time on that one. Good one, hon. Okay, so. The crispy prosciutto, we just put it on a sheet tray on a little parchment until it gets crispy. Let me tell you about the other couple of bagels so that can cool a second. Even for my hands, that looks too hot. It's literally steaming. So the uh, tomato basil bagels are going to get the crispy prosciutto. Over here, this is a rosemary uh, cream cheese on rosemary bagels that Bear's Cup made just for us. I hope they make them a staple because they are just glorious. So we have rosemary bagel, rosemary cream cheese with walnuts, smoked maple syrup, smoked blue cheese crumbles mixed into the cream cheese with finely chopped Oscars bacon. Oscars is up in Warrensburg, New York, and they ship, by the way. Uh, so we have smoky blue, Mixed into the cream cheese with the crunch of the walnuts, with the bacon, with garlic, uh, with smoked maple syrup, uh, or you can use honey or regular maple syrup, of course. Um, wow. Delicious. Totally weird combo. Oh, and, and cracked black pepper. You can get all the recipes online. This one is a real winner. Everybody loves this. It's dill pickle cream cheese bagels. So chopped up dill pickle, obviously. I use Wickles, I love Wickles pickles. Um, uh, I use chopped up Wickles pickles going all through it and then bigger chunks on top. Tons of fresh dill, celery seed, a little bit of red pepper flake, all mixed into the cream cheese. And then I garnish it with dill pickle potato chips. And I put that on either salt bagels or poppy bagels. We have both there. And then we have our, whoo, still hot. Don't try this at home. <laughs> it cold out more. And then we have our crispy prosciutto topped tomato, oh my God, and basil bagels. With crispy prosciutto. What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs>